uh, extend unemployment benefits? Well, I'm the sponsor of that. Uh, you know, I don't think any of us want to pay someone to sit at home and collect a check instead of have a job. The problem is that uh, unemployment here in the greater Austin area still remains above, among 7%. Mm -hmm. I hear from people who lost their job through no fault of their own that are out doing an active job search. You cannot collect unemployment unless you're doing an active job search, getting retraining, or, you know, there are a couple of other situations for temporary layoffs. But that's the thrust. So this is to support families next year who are out looking actively for work but haven't been able to find it in an economy in which there are four people for each one job. Yeah, true enough. So that comes back so to... that comes up. I want to see that passed. I was on the floor talking about it uh, yesterday and we'll be back up next week hoping that we won't have families around here and across the country that the night before Christmas are wondering how they're going to provide for their family the day after uh, their unemployment coverage runs out if they've been unable to secure a new job. Right. The Speaker of the House is pretty confident that the Republicans can kind of get their way in this payroll tax thing with some other plan that they've got without increasing taxes on the rich. Now, all of this failed in the Senate, but Boehner's confident you people in the House will do it. Well, uh, he always has the votes in the House. He has a Republican majority. Right. I hope that we will not see the legitimate need to keep our economy moving, address these concerns of the unemployed, be cluttered up with many irrelevant issues. Often at this time of year, they're called Christmas tree bills because every little interest group puts on whatever their ornamental issue is they couldn't get through <laughs> earlier in the year. The Republicans want that's to put that Keystone Pipeline on Well, there. it doesn't seem to me that has anything to do with these issues, and I, I don't know why they feel they have to rush that through the process instead of letting it complete the normal uh, review procedure. Right. Uh, but um, it will be a very demanding week, and probably I wanted to be on today because this time next week we will probably still be debating and considering these issues probably running right on up to Christmas. I'm just glad that this right. weekend, because of the district I have here in Austin, I can be in Brody Oaks, in Windsor Park, in Dove Springs, among others, to hear from neighbors you employed and unemployed. You can talk to a lot of people because yeah. I think that's the only way to make, re, remain grounded in Washington is to be here to visit and listen to people, and that's why I'm here this weekend.